Hello for everyone, and welcome back to the level 1 run. I've decked out mittens in his... what I'm calling his combat gear. It's not his combat gear, it's actually quite stupid for me to wear this. But I thought it'd be a fitting look... For, yeah, a fitting look to go into this little cave here, and... Oh yeah, uh, uh, no... No, do not try and unlock it. I forget sometimes that... Uh, Tal... Talbot... Talbot... Bear with a second, I'm just gonna unlock that chest quickly. Okay... Oh! Oh, pretty lights. Yeah, I don't actually remember what it's like down here, so this is going to be a bit awkward. I also just stepped outside and waited for 24 hours, because uh, Tower Bass refused to open that chest, so I waited for the Tower Stone to regenerate, and it turns out there was just one basic circlet in there. I think it was like a copper circlet, which is kind of pointless. So that was <laughs> a full minute and a half of recording just wasted. Oh, and... Yeah, good supply of little uh, Dermot stuff if you need it, but honestly at this stage in the game you're probably going to be quite a high level and doing tons of stuff, but you don't need it anymore. They, they haven't activated, okay. Yeah, I legitimately cannot remember what it's like. I know there's like a big boss fight, but other than that, I have no idea what's going on. Can I just open that? No, I'm going to have to hit the things up above. I'm just going to check what's over here first, because... Flying mushrooms. I don't think they help me at all. Okay. Mittens is going to have to do a bit more archery, which always seems a bit weird. There's, uh, no, let's use the iron arrows. We've got tons of those. Okay. Oh, oh, wrong button. Just open this door. Oh, ah, uh, there's a pipe there. Yeah. Okay, hit between the pipe and the thing. Okay, just move around the side and go for... There we go. Yeah, much easier that way. Almost like we're underground, so the air feels different as what normally happens. Ooh, do you have... You've got a Dwarven helmet, haven't you? You're missing the braces and thingy. Uh, yeah, some potions there, though. Never take up a good supply of potions. Oh, um, the game auto-saves itself. That is worrying. <laughs> the game never normally does that. Yep, this is the forge. Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to clear out the steam. It seems like a bad idea. Let's get, I, can't, I have to just steer it clear out the steam, don't I? Okay. Uh, this is going to go so badly wrong. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure... Is it a centurion we're about to face, or is it just the standard ones? I think it might just be standard guys at first. Which is not too bad. And Oh good, you've got the blade sword in your hand. We got Serana here. We got Katria as well. This should all go fine. We got three people with us. All right, we can this. Yeah, spiders. Spiders are fine. And you say, come on. It's actually you guys that need to do the attacking here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay, so this is just going to be me dodging a lot because. Yeah, Talbas. Jesus Christ. Christ, tell us. These guys got anything good on them? Nothing amazing, to be honest. Done and done. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be... Yep, spears next. Uh, oh, we got spears and spiders. Okay. This is a bit more challenging. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shut off a steam. Yes, that I can do. I can shut off a steam whilst you guys all fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. I shut off a steam. It's got to help somehow. And let's take the bolts. Uh, loop them afterwards, Sarge. Loop them afterwards. Oh, my God. Why are you guys not paying attention? To oh, because there's another one. Oh, my God. There's tons of them. Oh, oh, oh. I just took damage. I just took damage. I just took damage. There we go. Run over here. Oh, it's not going well. Oh, there's potions and stuff there. That'll be worth checking. Um. Oh, jeez. It's really not going well. I don't dare transform into beast form because I can't heal myself because they're all robots. And yeah, they're using spells that aren't going to work against them. Okay, I think that... No, you two, stop fighting each other. God damn it. Okay, you guys good? 
Oh, you better be good, because that is bad. That is very bad. Okay, let's just hide behind this thing. Forge Master hasn't spotted me yet. Okay, everyone. Everyone, get back up. Be all good. We're just going to walk over here quickly. He's coming for us, guys. Guys, he is right there. He is right there. Is anyone going to... That's it. Come on, guys. Start fighting. Yes! Start fight. Yeah, I think we got this. Okay, I'm going to try and Fusa Adarim. Yes! That staggers him. That staggers him. This is excellent. Oh my god, we're going to take him down. Well, I say so easily. I'm pretty sure if I get hit even once, I'm going to die. So, oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? We've got space up here to move around, though. And he's... Oh my god, he's dying quick. Oh, why are you switching to a bow, you idiot? Oh, come on. Bring me back my shell and... Let's run around the outside. Around the outside, because... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> okay, he's down to below half health. But Talbus is out of Magicka. And I I can't really do much to him. Serana's down. I'm not sure where Katria is. Or whatever her name is. Oh, God. I'm just having to run circles. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's... Is he down? He's down! <laughs> I can't believe we actually did That was really quick as well. I thought that was going to be much, much harder than it was. But, yeah. Yeah, cool. Three followers at once. That's how you do that. Nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to forge stuff. But we'll use the shards. There's only one thing we can make. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and is there more Ethereum anywhere else? Probably not. What have you got in here? You got anything? Yeah, let's take that. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to quickly loop the room. So in a little chest here, you actually get given all the stuff you'll need to craft anything. Which is quite nice of a game, because otherwise you'd have to leave and come back and so on and so forth. And... Actually, okay, I'm going to switch to... Where is it? Charm Necklace! There we go. Because now... Oh no, I'm not caring too much to be able to run. Now I can actually run around and shout and stuff, which is very nice. And we got another chest here with Dwarven Greats. Ooh, Dwarven Gauntlets! Yes, we'll give them to What's-His-Face. Uh, Blacksmith Draft. I don't know why I take that, but why not? And another chest with... Ooh. How much of this stuff is actually going to be good? Well, uh, August Mace. No, I don't think any of that's helpful. However, Talbas, we now have you Gauntlets, which means we're just on the lookout for boots. Oh, but by the time we probably get boots, I'm going to find something better to give to him, aren't I? Uh, let's give him an amulet of Akatosh as well. That would actually help him a bit. There we go. Dwarven gauntlets. Perfect. And I'm let's still carrying too much, aren't here. I? Uh, let's give him that sword. There we go. Sorted. Let's get going then. Now, we run up to the forge. And use it! Ethereum Karest removed, and we can make the Ethereal Crown, the Ethereal Shield, or the Ethereal Star. Now, obviously, the shield is no help to us, really. That would raise block and heavy armor and be useless. The star summons a Dwarven Spider or Sphere, which is nice, but uh, it's not perfect. The crown, however, is not armor, and it gives us an additional standing stone, which just... yeah. That's amazing. We are taking that. Ooh, is this going to level up our smithing? Ooh. Ooh, this might level up our smithing. Ooh. Ooh, this could go quite bad. I might have a skill raised, which is going to be dangerous, because that's going to reduce how much I can do. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Mm. Smithing's gone up a bit. It's everything Ooh. Yeah, congratulations and thanks. However, oh, that... Okay, that's a dangerous trade-off. Yeah, we lose Katria now, which kind of sucks, because it would have been nice to have an extra ghost buddy. Bow down. That's lost to the ages completed. I get the achievement, because I haven't done it on the PC before at all. But yeah, oh, look at that. Mmm. 
as nasty. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't realise I was going to level up smithing there before starting this quest. It is worth it. Because this ring right here, although it looks... Eh, it doesn't even look that terrible. Although it doesn't look amazing, this is going to be just... Yeah, it is worth it. It is worth the trade-off. But there's not many more trade-offs we can do now. Which is bad. Because we may have to level up some other skills at some point. Seeing as I didn't realise I'd have to level up that, but we did. So, yeah, this has gone badly. To an extent, anyway. Okay, with the, Ethere oh, with the Ethereum crown discovered, we're now going to get attacked by bandits, because I've travelled back to the Lordstone. However, they're so damn weak. There we go. Oh, sorry. I hit my horse slightly there. Oh, but, yep, there we go. Bandits down, because our squad is just so damn good. But yeah, I'm actually going to take the crown off here for a second. No just to ensure. Sound. There we go. Take the Lordstone. There we go. Tower Stone removed, Lordstone added. Now, I'm going to wait for that to disappear just so I don't accidentally glitch it at all. Now we've put on the Ethereal Crown. And just check here quickly. Yep, we've got the Lordstone. Which is just a great base one to have. And we'll probably be keeping with that for quite a while. Let's take his gold and his lockpick quickly. Now, we can get a second stone. Here we are. Those under the sign of the Atronarch absorb a portion of incoming spell damage, which is going to be helpful. Okay, yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. And it should be, yep, Atronarch stone and Lord stone. Which means we have... Uh, just... Yeah, 50% absorb spell, plus 15 resist magic, plus 25. That's... For a level 1 character, who is level 1... He's literally running around topless. And, yeah. This is good. Let, let's go kill that goat. In celebration, I'm going to punch this goat to death. Or not. Come here, goat. God damn it! How dare you mock me! You oh, there we go. To okay, that's just my horse. I thought that was a small dragon. Yeah, that was... Oh, there's a fight going on over there. That was getting the Ethereum crown. Some thing that... Oh, there's tons of stuff just going on in the background. Yeah. That was it for this episode. Going to be a very short one, I'm afraid. But like, comment, share, subscribe, etc. Let me know if there's any other pieces of equipment that would be really good for this run. Because obviously this is going to be just so damn helpful. Because we can now just have like the Lordstone permanently equipped if we want. And then switch around other standing stones, which will be helpful. I'm not going to do the uh, little glitch or exploit where you can get like three or four stones stacked atop of each other. Because that takes a lot of time, is very boring, and isn't in the spirit of a challenge run. But next episode, we're actually going to have to get on with some quests. Because we've got a game that needs to be completed. Because there's no point doing a challenge run where you don't actually complete anything. So, you, you, stop talking, Serana. Thanks again for watching, uh, click on one of the lot on screen links, and I will see you next time. Bye.